This is a perfect case of Peter wildly underestimating the weather in the mountains. I didn't bring a jacket because I was like, ah, it's summertime, but I'm in the mountains. You know, it's been all jet skis and sunshine and I'm in a hoodie and it's like zero degrees and it snowed up here this morning. So I'm just trying to, just trying to deal with this right now. Uh, this would probably be a great time to introduce you to my favorite spot on planet Earth. Welcome to Moraine Lake. Best spot on the planet. I mean, I don't think I really even need to say anything to convince you. Welcome to Canada. What's up, dude? Not much, man. How you doing? I'm Pete. Matt. Nice, nice to meet you. What time did you get here this morning? 3, 3.30. 3.30? 3.30? Okay, we got here at 7 and we were like, there's gonna be no one here. Like, we're, we're hardcore and Still the parking lot was full. And you got here at 3. Still half full. You got good shots? What do you got? Oh yeah, that looks awesome. Just dude, it's so different being out on the water. Yeah, 100%. Like, it's a completely different perspective. When these guys come in, more than welcome. Oh, sick. I'm renting it, but. See? It pays off just being nice and saying hi to people that are doing the same thing you are. Can I leave my gear with you yeah. if I go out? In Canada, you can just trust people like that. It's phenomenal. Yeah, watch, we'll come back. Matt will be like back in his home. I'm boosting as soon as you leave. <laughs> He's like, peace out. I just lied about all of that. That's not even my canoe. <laughs> look at, look how clear the water is, guys. It's just, it's just perfect. It is so cold. Dude, that is frigid ice. I mean, I guess technically it's glacier water. Man, just look at it. It's so clear. Ah, I love that. Uh, uh. Uh. Got a new lens the other day. Canon sent me the new 7200 2.8 Mark III. It's a dope lens, which is why I brought it to Banff because it has come in handy so much here because the compression that you get with a telephoto lens is just incredible pretty nice. It's pretty heavy, so being that it's in my camera bag right now, I had to take my drone out of the camera bag, which isn't a huge deal because you can't fly drones here anyway, so this was the substitute, but being able to get that super tack sharp image with that nice depth of field in the background just makes those subjects pop so hard off the background. Like here's a picture of Maddie, for example. Here's a picture from yesterday from the Santa Fe car that we did that we took some shots of. And you can just see how crisp and sharp it is and the color reproduction is just absolutely phenomenal. So I thought I would show you guys this lens and maybe talk a little bit about why telephoto lenses are a great tool to have in your kit, as well as uh, exploring my favorite place on earth and meeting new friends. What a great day already. All right, folks, it's time to get in this, this fun canoe that these friendly here people board us. This guy's from Toronto too, and he knows my friends. I love Canada. How do I do this? What do you mean just jump on? What if it tips? Oh. <laughs> oh, slow gun. Canoe rule number one, stay low. Wait. Stay low with those lanky legs. <laughs> oh. Clearly done this before. I am not gonna move. My leg is cramping. Ugh. I've done this before. Dude, you were like the canoe master. That's right, I, uh, I, my mom gave birth to me on a canoe. Uh, evidently so. Yeah. Look at you, Bear grills right here. Why did you start a trap? You should start a channel about like how to survive in the wilderness. You look good doing it too. <laughs> look at this guy here. I'm gonna give the vlog some slow mo of you paddling this canoe. Did you, you know you have a paddle too? You can like paddle. It's not just, it's not just me. I'm good. <laughs> Fast as Peter. Someone has to document this epicness. I've taken on that task. You're welcome. It's First time super, touching the water. Yeah, dude, I had like really for cool. those photos you were taking, my hand was just frozen. Ugh. I'm not joking when I say the water is cold. Like it's glacier water. This is probably maybe like five or six degrees. So like it is no joke. If this thing flipped, it would suck pretty bad. So good thing Maddie's a master at canoeing. <laughs> just my legs. I'm just admiring this vlogging technique. Like that is impressive. You gotta do what you gotta do. 
All right, we survived. We're back. How do I get out? How do you actually get out of this thing? <laughs> Is there a YouTube video we can watch real quick? Is there How to get out of canoe? Okay, I, I fully feel capable of this. There we go. All right, you're on your own, Maddie. All right, thanks. Cheers, buddy. See you later. You're gonna do it. No, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> this dude's gonna go swimming in the glacier lake. And it's like, I just had my hand in the water, you saw that tasty shot? Hell no. But if he's gonna do it, I'll gladly film it. <laughs> Crazy. Dude, <laughs> the vlog thanks you. Uh -huh. I wish I had the courage to jump in this lake, I just don't, but I'm gonna live through your demonstration of, of you know, manliness here. It's just gonna be great. Oh, dude. Naked? No, 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 no. It's about to no. sound like. No, no, no. no, no. Children watch this vlog. <laughs> oh, that's just cold just to watch. It's happening. Okay, Matt, are you ready? Don't jump off yet. Okay, guys, it's windy. He's gonna jump. This is it. Three, two, one. Oh, my goodness. What? How? Oh my goodness, dude. You did it. You actually did it. Whoa, why don't How get cold out of are you right now? I can't really tell yet. Oh. Give me a couple of hours. I'll put his Instagram right here. <laughs> Give this guy some love. <gasps> Thanks for that, man. That was great. It was nice meeting you guys. Nice to meet you. Thanks, Thanks for the canoe. You. Peace out. See you back in the six. See you back in the six. Bye, Bye friends. Think about Bye. how much gear is in here. <laughs> Bye. Those guys were awesome. <laughs> I love making friends. Dude, I'm really, really cold. I don't know how you're surviving. I at least like have this jacket. Like, like it's just going down fast. We like did, I'm, We did not prepare for this at all. No, I'm like shivering right now, but we still need to get B-roll shots and, and do some actual photos here. And we actually have to work now instead of like watching that guy jump in the lake. <laughs> We, like we've done nothing since we've been here. Well, I canoed a little bit. Yeah, you, you I paddled. You paddled. I did a little bit of work. Yeah. Cinematic sequence. <laughs> Begin. Okay, so we stopped the car because look at this road. It's an endless, incredible road, and I wanted to show you guys how I could use that new 7200 and the compression that a telephoto lens has to get some cool floating shots, kind of like that tutorial we did months back, months back with my friend, The Brightest Hour, when he's teaching me how to jump all lifeless. So I figured this would be the perfect background for that, and I'll show you the difference between a wide lens at like 35 and that compression, and like a 7200 and the compression that has, and how it looks oh so crispy. But before we get into that, this is a perfect road for running, and Maddie and I like to shoot B-roll with running, so. Let's run. How did that go? I think yeah. we need to work out more though. Well, that was working out. Is that working out? 100%. Supposed to like work out so then we can actually do this properly uh, and not be dead? Uh, uh, I don't know. These are my wounds from yesterday. Not bad. Opened this one up on the rocks this morning. Other than that, pretty good. That's the thing with those running sequences. You have to do it like seven times to make it look like one shot. It's hard work. And then when you forget to put it in 120, you have to do them two times over that seven, right? Yeah. We did the whole first sequence in 60p. Thanks, Maddie. So check this out. I'm gonna do some of those shots. We're gonna shoot it in 120, both at 16 mil and then at like 70 mil with a telephoto lens so you can see the difference in compression. So here's what that looks like. So that's 
that's uh, that's the difference using a telephoto lens and compression and stuff like that. So what we did is we used the same frame for all three shots you just saw there. First was 16, the second was 70, and the last one was 200. So what we did is we had to move back each time we shot it, so we kept that frame the same, but it gives you a very kind of fun and interesting and visual, you know, representation of what a compressed lens does versus one that's, you know, short, like 16 mil. Hope you enjoyed that. The other nice thing about this lens is that it has image stabilization, especially when you're shooting something that's far away and you've got a long focal length, like 200 mil. Having image stabilization like that, ah, it just helps so much, especially if you're shooting video. It's also a really sharp lens, like legendary for being tack sharp. And you know, we all want those crispy Instagram shots that are tack sharp, so. You know, I think my favorite thing about shooting out here in the mountains is just like, There's so much variety. You got shots of roads, mountains, lakes, canoes, and Canada's just so beautiful. If you've never visited Canada, I highly recommend it, especially Alberta. Making a mess. This is a great donut. See you later. <laughs>I'm pointing the camera this way for a reason because I want to surprise you yet again because that's kind of been the theme of this vlog like I did at the very beginning. What an incredible ending to an incredible day when you get a view like this. Oh, and we got here just in the nick of time when the sun was hitting those peaks. Check out this shot and this shot and this shot. Oh, it just looks so good. We got here in the nick of time because even the wind's picking up a little bit and that calm still water is like starting to get choppy. Wow, just so amped. feel about this? Oh, I feel good. Perfect timing, right? Yeah. What a great day. Great All job, right, man. great job. What a great day. See you later. All right, well, the light is pretty much done for the day. We got the best part of it. Those are the shots you saw with the wide angle lens. Here's a shot I did with the 7200. You can see the difference in compression. Not the best for a scene like this, but still really cool because it gives you a totally different perspective. I really enjoyed running around the national park with the telephoto. I didn't think I would, but I'm glad I brought it. Those are my thoughts on the new 7200. So if you guys are, you know, gonna go out there and take shots of nature, highly recommended. Also, this chipmunk picture, come on. Hit the like button if you like that video, smash it. You know, do whatever you want. Subscribe if you aren't already. I will see you guys back in Toronto. Peace. Wait, we'll do it like we used to.